Hey guys, Chad here at the Hidden Spring Farm, and guess what? I got a new toy for the farm! It's the HT-131 by Steel. It's a pole pruner or a pole chainsaw, pole saw, and it's telescopic, and it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about it, so let me go get it. Let's go. Here it is. See that? Steel. Steel. Check it out, guys. HT131. It's pretty long, guys. It's like a bazooka. Look at that. It's like a bazooka. <laughs> There's the thing, guys. There's the thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> this thing's got a 12 inch bar. And the teeth are pretty small, but what do you expect? It's only a 12 inch bar. There's the little thing where you add for the bar oil and it's telescopic, guys. Telescopic. It's got all your typical parts that a steel saw has. It's got your choke right here. It's got the trigger right here. This is the safety. It has to be pushed down in order for you to run the gun. And then this is the stop button right here. And then this is where you put the gas. Right, there's the gas tank, the primer bubbles right there. Pump that up a couple times, get it started. And then you gotta crank it. And it's pretty easy to crank, I must say. This thing puts out 1.9 horsepower. This thing puts out 36 cc's, 36 cc's. This is the higher end model of all of Steel's pole pruners. Yeah! The overall length, when it's in its closed position, guys, comes out to nine feet. Let's see if we can open this sucker up. All you do is turn this knob and then there's a spring inside, eh? And it just lets you pop this sucker out. Oh yeah! <laughs> when it's telescoped all the way out, extended fully, it comes out to about 12 feet. So you'll be able to get pretty high up and it's a lot better than hiking up a ladder, very dangerous, unstable with your big chainsaw. And then there's so much kickback with your big chainsaw. This is a lot safer for those small, hard to reach jobs. Now guys, there's a whole lot of reasons why you would want this kind of a saw. I've been up the ladder a couple times trying to cut some branches that were half dying and just to do some maintenance before they actually fell down. And it was sketchy up there. I'm a big bodied guy. I don't want to get up on a ladder and use a chainsaw. It's dangerous. Branch comes down, hits your ladder. You can get knocked right over. That's not good. Excuse all the noise, guys. I'm just in our veggie garden because I want to show you one of the main reasons why I bought this saw. But there's the geese over there, if you can see the geese. So this kind of a saw, guys, is really great for tree maintenance and orchard maintenance. And I'm standing right in front of our orchard here at the farm. Now, we have a whole bunch of old apple trees and I really want to maintain them. I really want to get them pruned. 
and this is the right saw to do the job, I think. In addition to the orchard, I'm in the veggie garden now, right? And all those trees that are over there along the fence line of our garden is really overhanging the garden. So a lot of the stuff that we planted along the side lost out on a couple hours of sunlight because these branches were overhanging. So I want to get to that today and I'm going to trim a whole bunch of that while I show you how this saw works. <laughs> Another thing, it's got this really nice ledge right here so that the saw is stable, eh? Because it's nice and flat, and it also acts as a foothold for when you're starting her up. Hard work, hard labor. Whew. Well, this saw certainly does the job. Yeah, certainly does the job. I got a bit more to do. It's pretty powerful. It got, you know, a little weighty after a while. I probably need to get myself one of those shoulder straps so that way the weight can be held by my body instead of, instead of by my arms because this shoulder gets wrecked. But it's pretty powerful. You saw the job that it did. It was cutting wood like that big. And uh, this is really going to clear up my garden. I'm going to be able to do my orchard with this sucker. It's pretty good. I will say it's difficult to transport because even in the closed position, it's still nine feet tall. And uh, it doesn't even fit on my mule. You know, if I have to go somewhere further away with it, you need to have some kind of a little trailer or, you know, rig up some kind of a strap system on the side of your side by side so you can bring it wherever you want to go but overall it started up no problem it was powerful enough it did what i need it to do and i'm going to get a lot of years use out of this sucker so i think overall it's a good purchase for me at the farm here and i can't really complain so far i got a lot of wood chipping to do and if you want to see the wood chipper in action take a look at this video right here i'll put a link for it up top and you can take a look at the Woodland Mills wood chipper that I have. I really do appreciate you watching. I hope it was an informative video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Pound that like if you please. Just pound it for me. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe. Spend a few minutes. Take a look at our channel and see what we're doing here at the Hidden Spring Farm. I think we're doing a lot of good things. Anyways, appreciate you watching. You guys take care, okay?